Hey everyone, I'm Jack. And I'm Alex. And in today's video, we rebirth our Year Dead Mega Man series with a ranking of the Robot Masters of Mega Man 3. While the misery caused by this fairly awful game was nowhere near the levels of the first Mega Man, I still found enjoyment in a small group of Robot Masters and I will praise the beautiful graphics relative to the time it was made. As always, this is not a ranking of the Robot Master fights, rather the robots themselves, which includes factors ranging from stage design to general coolness. Once again, this will only be counting the 8 Robot Masters and none of the Dr. Wily levels or boss fights since those blow too much ass for us to endure playing. With that said, let's get into it. Yeah, not much substance here, Shadow Man can fuck himself. The entire level is extremely bleak and besides the a bit on the nose reference to shadows through literally removing vision entirely, this has nothing to do at all with shadows. I'm not a fan of Prince Asshole as I like to call him, but unlike his other appearances, his arena is flat so here it boils down to a simple enough pattern. Past the already mentioned sections, the hardest by far is the platforming bit near the end. This is a good time to bring up the impracticality of Topspin, it's totally useless in this section as well as the fight with Shadow Man, and unless you're Pink Kitty Rose, good fucking luck trying to get past it without Magnet Missile. Shadow Man himself isn't very hard, but I still tend to not care enough to actually beat him when I inevitably die, so I just use a password and move on. I hate myself. Unlike Jack, I actually quite like this game, but not to the point that I blindly love everything in it. As luck would have it, Hard Man is actually pretty easy, which is possibly one of the only saving graces to his name. First off, he's an ugly fuck. He looks like an uncircumcised metal chode. Nobody in the history of the internet has ever got an erection looking at this fat concrete lard ass, excluding the three or so grotesque images on Pahil.net I came across while checking if anyone actually rolled dirty for him. And possibly Top Man, who hilariously enough is weak to Hard Man. There's no way Capcom is doing this by total accident. One of the lamest Robot Master designs hands down. Secondly, his stage sucks and makes no sense. Off the top of your head, name three things you associate with the word hard. Go. Were bees on your list? Yeah, mine neither. These are special robot bees with the power to lag your game to death upon spawning in. Other than that, this is by far the most boring stage in the game. Everything is made out of the same rock texture and the enemies such as the monkeys are all bastards. Of course, no early Mega Man game is complete without prefacing every boss hallway with some of the worst enemies in gaming history. It's not Big Eye, but these guys still suck. The music is nothing too remarkable and the boss fight is average. With a lame design and a lackluster stage, Hard Man is my personal least favorite in the cast of Mega Man 3. Top Man is levels above Shadow and Hard Man personally, I don't really understand his name at all, but besides the point. Upon research, he's inspired by a top, a lamer Beyblade from years past, a pretty fucking stupid thing to make a world-controlling robot after. Anyways, the stage overall is simple enough in design, and the majority of the combat sections can be avoided entirely through tricks like hanging on the bottom rung of a ladder. Thomas return uninvited as to this day the hardest mini-boss across the Mega Man series, although past them the closing platforming section was actually pretty neat. Top Man himself is very doable with pea shooters, I usually beat him first, however with his weakness, Hard Knuckle, you can probably beat it doing a headstand. I don't mind Top Man, it's simply a nothing level with no reason for me to have any emotion based opinions on it whatsoever. Sparkman stage theme goes hard as hell. Probably my favorite in the series up there with Solar Man's theme and Ring Man's theme. That counts for something, you know? This stage is a tough one to place for me. I like how fitting it is both aesthetically and gameplay wise, but there are admittedly a few extremely frustrating rooms. That last one in particular loves to test my patience and has killed me more than possibly any other room in the series save for a few contenders for Mega Man 9. If you watch all my attempts to get past this part consecutively, it feels like a Looney Tunes montage of Wily e. Coyote trying to escape a trap from the Roadrunner. The rest of the stage is pretty fair. The lightning laser things are just a matter of timing and patience, and the enemies aren't anything outlandishly horrible, save for those fuckers in the home stretch. Sparkman has a cool design, and his boss fight is one of the hardest in my opinion, probably runner-up behind Needleman in a Mega Buster only run if you're enough of a masochist to actually do that. Lord knows I've tried many times, mostly as a kid when I was all hyped up from watching Ron Mithril's perfect runs. Sparkman is overall a solid robot master in my opinion, who I'd say fits in the higher end of things in the series as a whole, but Mega Man 3 has some pretty great competition, so he gets a mediocre spot at number 5. After 
After his initial appearance in Mega Man 2, Needleman strikes again with his own stage over being just a boss. While you probably think I'd hate sporadic enemies, I'm welcome to new mechanics in Mega Man games so long as they're fair and enjoyable. Needleman is entirely different to anything before him, his level is reminiscent of a Super Mario Bros. 3-esque design, and the varying platforming mechanics throughout make for a really entertaining time? Notice how I didn't use the word fun. The needle sections are stupidly difficult and I made use of Mega Man Collection's convenient rewind mechanic to my advantage so as to never die, becoming an unstoppable force of nature. As with just about every boss, the final segment is a simple bicky. These guys can shove their invincibility up their asshole. Needleman himself is ridiculously hard, featuring the widest array of attacks of any robot master in the game, however with Gemini Laser he gets 4 shots, so either way he should be packed up in due time. Gemini Man, interesting thing to decide to build. For two scientists, Dr. Light and Dr. Wily must be unusually fond of astrology. Gemini Man lays claim to the strangest stage of the game, if not the series. I was hamming up my shock at these being in Hard Man stage for comedic effect earlier, but the stuff in here actually makes no sense whatsoever. It doesn't even seem to be on Earth, considering the trippy visuals and rooms full of enormous robot fish eggs. The first room on the planet's surface is just the tip of the possibly literal iceberg, capped off by Proto Man deciding to be helpful for once instead of the jump happy prick. I don't really mind the penguin guys, spawner enemies are only really awful when the things they create take multiple hits to take out. The water part is the most evil, and also right at the end. I think the designers 100% intentionally put the hardest stuff in the last bit of all the stages, because it just cannot be a coincidence how often this is the case. I even tried cheesing it with the Rush Marine, but apparently it isn't suited for very deep dives, because dipping slightly below the screen instantly kills you. Gemini Man himself looks cool and has a very unique battle, one of a select few with multiple phases, the second one coming when you defeat his clone. I fight dirty so I just chucked snakes at him till he blew up, but there is a strategy that makes this fight not terribly hard with a Mega Buster. My personal favorite weapon in the game is this Gemini Laser mostly because it looks cool. For creativity, coolness, and a unique if frustrating stage, Gemini Man gets a respectable bronze medal. While I praise the graphics out of curtsy in the introduction, Snake Man's stage actually does look quite good. Even with it being the longest in the game, I never got tired of the green aesthetic similar to the likes of Fallout New Vegas or Five Nights at Freddy's 3, and it is by far the most thematic visually. The enemies themselves are almost exclusively Reptalia, or well, I don't know, with every single pixel in the ground and background being snakeskin as well. Aside from the giant snakes, which make for one of the more memorable combat bits in the game, the level design is fairly basic up until the sky section, a very random but fun platforming bit that does require a decent amount of thinking as compared to the rest of the level. Snake Man is a sort of hard fight, with him being extremely active and also having one of the most odd arena designs, however with the Needle Cannon it's a passive challenge. Snake Man is my personal favorite stage, and I'm glad to have actually been happy for a small portion of a Mega Man video for change. Magnet Man, love this guy. Awesome design, pretty much what I'd make if I was making a magnet-themed robot. This is my favorite stage in the game as well, with the second coolest visuals behind Gemini Man's stage and the most interesting gameplay elements to me. The magnets that suck you in add a fun challenge to the usual block puzzles and stay in line with the theme instead of resorting to random unrelated garbage like a lot of the stages do. His weapon is one of the more useful ones and going against it in the fight is very fair. Jack was able to Mega Buster only him in his run which is commendable, I took a crack at it and got packed in like 20 seconds flat. If I have one gripe it's that his invincibility magnet shield move can seriously drag the fight out if he spams it which is a bit of a pain. Magnet Man as a whole is a perfect balance between actual fun and the classic platforming bullshit I've been Stockholmed into loving by these games and my personal favorite of Mega Man 3. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video more than I did Mega Man 3. I hate these games and I can't wait to keep on ranking their bosses so here's to 8 more videos. Whoop de doo Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't and otherwise be on the lookout every Wednesday for future rankings. That's all for now. Deuces.